How much potential do humans have? How far can someone go from where they're at at the moment to another place? The answers that we give to these questions influence the course of our own lives and the lives of the people that we raise, tutor, lead, coach in a most dramatic way. Stay tuned to find out why and to hear more about the mindset behind these questions, the growth mindset. Hey everyone and welcome to Becoming an Expert at Self-Leadership. My name is Micah, I'm a psychologist and on this channel I share psychology so that more people can benefit from it. Today's topic is the growth mindset. The psychology professor Carol Dweck has brought a majorly important distinction to our attention and that is the difference between what she calls the growth and fixed mindset. The fixed mindset is a way of looking at people that sees them sort of like statues, born a certain way and assuming that they will always stay that way. The growth mindset, on the other hand, sees people more like dough, constantly able to change, adapt, learn and grow. A person is seen to be a work in progress, not a finished product. And if they choose to invest the effort and get the support that they need, they can grow, learn and change at any moment in their lives. Carol Dweck's research has shown that people with a growth mindset actually do change more in the course of their lives and they're better at supporting others in their growth and learning. It makes sense, right? If, if I don't think that I can change, why would I de develop a strategy for change or invest the effort necessary for change? Or if I don't believe that someone who's not particularly good at something can change and improve. Why would I invest effort in teaching them more about this skill? In the following, I'd like to distinguish more between the fixed and growth mindset and explain how we can develop a growth mindset. Let's start with the fixed mindset. How the fixed mindset stunts growth. The core of the fixed mindset is the belief that when someone is born, most of who they are, their personality and abilities is already determined. It's the belief that we can't really change throughout life. The only thing we can do is pretend to be better than we are. It's the belief that the way kids are raised or students are taught doesn't really matter because it's not worth investing too much effort in that because anyway, people are already everything they'll ever be the moment they're born. Obviously, this leads to investing less effort, but people with a fixed mindset also have a troubled relationship with mistakes because for them, a mistake is not an opportunity to learn something, but it's a sentence of who they are and will always be. Every feedback they get, every test they take, everything they experience has in their mind this power to determine who they are. This leads to people with a fixed mindset to try to avoid mistakes. And that has actually quite large implications because if I live my life determined to avoid mistakes, that means I will never risk anything new, never challenge myself. And every time I pick a new project or task, I'll make sure that it's something I'm already good at. Because if I would leave my comfort zone, that would mean I might fail at the first few attempts. And those failures for someone with a fixed mindset question their worthiness at the core of their being. All in all, the fixed mindset stunts growth because it stunts investing effort, it stunts learning from mistakes and trying something new and challenging. The growth mindset. A person with a growth mindset is convinced that their abilities, skills, talents, knowledge and behavior can change at any time if they invest the effort. This is really 
an important part of the growth mindset, the role that effort plays in one's life. And the belief that effort can really change something. People with the growth mindset see mistakes as an opportunity to learn and they risk challenging themselves with things they've never mastered before because they want to learn and grow and get better and better. They also don't allow one-time instances to determine who they are and to define them. So if they get a feedback or if they don't do well on a test, they see it for what it is, a snapshot of their abilities at one given moment in their life, not who they'll be for the rest of their life. As parents, teachers and coaches, people with the growth mindset are much better at nourishing the growth and development of their dependents. It's because they believe in them and they help them believe in themselves and their ability to grow and change. Instead of labeling them as something like, oh, this is our underachiever, they help them unleash their full potential. Of course, the growth mindset doesn't mean that anyone can do anything. That's not the point. The point is that we are wasting a huge amount of potential ourselves of our own and potential of others because we are underestimating the amount of change that is possible in a human being if they really dedicate themselves to it and invest the effort. Strengthening your growth mindset. Okay, now let's take a look at what we can do to strengthen our growth mindset so that the way we think about human potential is something that empowers us rather than letting the fixed mindset stunt our growth. Firstly, think of yourself as a work in progress, as dough. Remember that you are full of potential to change and grow. And be aware that most of us tend to underestimate our potential for growth. And it's likely that you've been surrounded by teachers and parents that have also underestimated this potential, your potential. Let go of those beliefs and remind yourself of the truth of the amazing and huge potential for change and growth. Challenge yourself. If you've stopped failing and making mistakes, it means you've stopped challenging yourself. See mistakes as an opportunity to learn and grow and don't try to avoid them. Don't label yourself. And with that, I mean labels that will demotivate you from investing effort into change and growth. And also don't let others label you like that. These are labels like untalented, problematic person, underachiever, bad at small talk, unsuited for science. If you're not good at something, it just means that you're not good at it yet. Also, if you have the impression that you're not suited for something, that you're not talented for something, you don't have potential for something, ask yourself where this impression came from. Who made you doubt your potential? How can they know how much you can change and grow if you invest the effort and get the support you need? How can you know if you don't try? Also, don't be discouraged if someone else is better than you. There will always be people who are better than you. And just because someone is better than you at something at a given moment doesn't mean that you can't also get there if you invest the effort. Also, don't let one-time instances determine who you are for the rest of your life. I'm talking about these experiences that have the potential to haunt us. That failed exam, that negative feedback, that embarrassing moment when everybody laughed. Don't let the difficulties that you had in your past with a certain skill set define your ability in that skill set in the future. 
And if you want to go really deep into the growth mindset, I recommend reading Carol Dweck's book, Mindset, Changing the Way You Think to Fulfill Your Potential. It's full of amazing and enlightening stories and studies, and it also has specific chapters for parents, teachers, and leaders with really practical and helpful suggestions of what you can say and do to increase the growth mindset in the kids and people you lead. Also, if you want to let the growth mindset sink in very deeply, I suggest that you listen for a while every day to the growth mindset affirmations on this channel. And if you want to keep learning and growing, then I also suggest you subscribe to this channel because it's all about that. I'm also always really grateful for any kind of support in the form of thumbs up and comments beneath this video. And till next time, take good care of yourself. And remember, you have an amazing potential to grow and change and learn.